Hello, Princess, and good morning from Nassau. We are back uh, safely, thankfully. Uh, sadly, though, I'm not sure what's going on. I haven't heard any announcements, but I, I do see passengers disembarking. I have seen some passengers disembarking. Well, there some go, I think, and they are uh, loading uh, wheelchairs and things. So I don't know. Maybe I'll wait for five or ten minutes and see if they make an announcement uh, before heading down. That's fine with me, or uh, I don't know. I could go now. Either way, I've like four hours until my flight, and I was able to check in online this time. So it's uh, well. I mean, it's going to go smoothly. I just uh, would like to know when, and you know how I just love waiting in the airport. I just got topside uh, to uh, take a last look for now, and they just called my number. So. This was not really controversial, but I had not heard any announcements up till now, so I just saw some big wig looking people at guest services and asked them, and uh, they reminded me that they maybe made one announcement, which I missed, and everything else was on the uh, electronic boards. Okay, no problem. Uh, and then I just heard this announcement now. Uh, my number is up. Which means now it is time finally to uh, to go and grab the bags and head out. And uh, it's a little bit later than the original schedule, but that is actually normal. Made it on the bus and we are on the way to the airport. So it is time to say goodbye to the fair and uncancelled Adventure of the Seas. I do not know when we will meet again, but we can make it as soon as we want actually. So who knows? Could be sooner than anybody thinks. The great thing about this one so far is uh, they picked us up right in front of the ship where I, I took a picture or where I said goodbye. Uh, waiting right there, I think back in Miami, you have to like wind your way all the way through the terminal and everything to get there, which is kind of a pain, but super convenient. Uh, could have been even more convenient if I bothered to pack on time and uh, carry my luggage down. It's fine, but um, this is not a luggage equipped van, so it's just sitting here on the seats fine again and uh, well, I guess that means yeah they took everyone else's bags to the airport so that would that would make it super super easy okay why didn't I do that it's because I just put it off so yeah well it was a rather uneventful ride here to the airport when you arrive uh, in one of these little things mine already left because it took me a bit the, uh, the line, or Royal, has staged all of the luggage here, which is pretty much right in front of the airport. That is such an awesome thing. I uh, think people are going to start asking for this back home, or at least in Miami, and Fort Lauderdale. It saves a lot of effort, unless you're me and are late for everything. All right, let's uh, get these guys checked in and get underway, which we're already underway. So let's continue underway. Okay, looks like the bag machines are working here. So I hopefully won't have to make the line. Do, 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 do. Come on. I haven't used these kiosks in a while, but there was an upgrade button, but I thought it was already on the list. Because when I checked in, it said I was. Maybe, I don't know. This is probably just going to reprocess the... Okay, now I'm on the list, but it said, uh, hmm, interesting, whatever. Okay, uh, check bags or print tags. That's what I want. All right, the agent running the kiosk is, is the one who checks the COVID test. Uh, I'm not checking any sports equipment, any bags. And then that stupid form, that goes to the agent collecting the bags. So, yes, the wonders of bureaucracy at work. Uh, no. I do not ever buy the miles. Other than that, things seem to be going fine. Much smoother than Miami, which is um, unexpected, but whatever. Okay, here's my tags. Alright, here we go. And wait. Yeah, two tags. Okay, oh. 
printing two of two. Oh. Okay, wait. Thought it was weird. Okay, got it. And got the boarding pass. Okay. Uh, that's it. I'm done. So bag drop and I think we're done. Well then immigration but that's easy. It was going well until uh, the bag drop line, which is about three switchbacks back. This was unexpected, but uh, maybe seven minutes, hopefully. It usually goes pretty quickly. Although, no, I'm gonna, ref I'm gonna change that. This is gonna take 20 minutes. Fortunately, I estimated way wrong. That did only take about seven minutes. However, they do not take the bags uh, to the carousel at the gate. You then have to walk them over to special baggage. I don't know that these bags are particularly special, but I guess the airline seems to think so. All right, let's get these dropped off and uh, on to the next bureaucratic mess. All right, the uh, bag drop was well, pretty much what it was, just dropping the bags, and I am headed now to departures, which is at the opposite end of the terminal. And then I guess through TSA, then uh, CBP, then to the gate, then uh, we wait still. Uh, this is a much more efficient, well, not so efficient, but much faster than at Miami, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, not terribly stressful other than the, the disjointed process, but that's, no, that's happened before. Uh, and I'm glad I'm not in these lines. No problem getting through uh, CBP, the, um, the uh, what's it called? God, I haven't used it in so long, I forgot what it's called. The, oh, not Open Traveler, the thing where you put the thing, and you know the thing, Global Entry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, worked like a champ, and, uh, well, that was it. I bypassed the line, that's what it's for. And now, I am so excited because this is the best part of every trip. Waiting for two hours in the airport. Now, uh, God. now I understand why they want to get people here early to, to avoid problems, but seriously, now I'm just gonna wander around for two hours, yeah, yeah, waiting at the gate, and the second gate change announcement came through, so heading back to C, no, not back, to the new gate, C-45. The aircraft was sitting on the ramp for uh, about five minutes, and it just turned around, got kind of worried, but uh, things happen. Waiting at the new gate for the newly delayed flight, so I guess it took longer to get here than thought. Doesn't appear to be any weather in Miami, so maybe something else happened. Either way, uh, sad to say, I have fallen from grace. I was, I was not number one on the list. I was number three. Can you believe that? I know. But it all worked out. So, I can just uh, hop on board. I should be home in an hour and a half. That's mid late, but I made it on board. They're loading the bags right there. I'm tempted to watch, but I I actually don't want to know until I get there. So let's uh, just sit back and relax. And now I'm even repeating it. Oh boy. back at MIA. Off to uh, get the bags and uh, that's it. This adventure is almost over. I'm not walking particularly fast because for whatever reason luggage takes forever here and uh, if I walk at normal speed I will beat it and uh, this is actually a, a nicer place to spend the time than the uh, <laughs> carousel. Seriously, arrive at D60, put the bags on carousel 27. You cannot get further apart. Oh, yeah, yeah. In a modern miracle, the bags arrived just after I did. 
so I guess the system worked this time. And just like that, our adventure aboard the uncancelled Adventure of the Seas is over, and I am back in Miami life, heading home after a super awesome and enjoyable dinner with friends, celebrating uh, some momentous occasions of late. So it is time for me now to uh, get some rest, I have a lot of catching up on that to do after our trip. I am uh, pretty tired right now, so looking forward to a nice quiet day tomorrow. What I'm not looking forward to is uh, laundry and all the other things that I have to, uh, well, that I put off for a week while we had all this fun down in the Caribbean. But it's okay, because that is why I am thankful for my problems. Thank you.